What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman, and in today's fix, more scary games, yay. A wild movie pass scandal, and more single player games on Xbox. Roll that thing. A new Resident Evil game is seemingly on the way from Capcom. The company sent out invites to its US-based Resident Evil ambassadors with the intent to recruit testers for the unnamed RE title that's quote, currently in development. Testing will go down on September 20th and 21st in LA and the 23rd and 24th in NYC. Besides being a Resident Evil ambassador, the only requirement is that each player has to have, quote, played a Resident Evil title in the past. And I mean, yeah, I've done that. I'm awesome at Resident Evil. No details yet on what this new game actually is, but I'm really hoping you guys find someone else to play it. Please do not make me play it. Please, I am seriously begging you, just don't do it. And speaking of being taken advantage of, a new report claims MoviePass changed up user passwords so they couldn't log in and see a bunch of movies. For the uninformed, MoviePass was the precursor to the AMC A-list we all know and love today, for a low monthly fee to watch whatever movie you wanted. And then MoviePass started failing and it became harder and harder to watch a movie the way the service intended. Each scandal that broke out outshined the previous one, illuminating the shady business practices of MoviePass. But the latest one is a doozy. According to Slash Film, who cited Business Insider, the MoviePass CEO, Mitch Lowe, ordered employees to change the password of frequent MoviePass customers so they couldn't use the service and attempt to plug up one of many holes that are causing the company to sink. And that's it. That's the whole story. Don't use MoviePass. And in news that shouldn't surprise anyone, more single player games are coming to the Xbox, at least according to head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. He promised on Twitter that strong single player games are a key focus of the platform and will be for the foreseeable future. The confirmation comes with the knowledge that Xbox Game Studios have teams dedicated to building strong single player games. That name drop means there may be as many as 15 acquired studios that could potentially be working on single player games. But what are the odds all 15 are? Probably pretty low, but hey, you never know. And as your daily fix for August 9th, I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, how about watching me lose my shit trying to play Resident Evil 2? Much fun! Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the daily fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.